It's time to predict the scores for game week 44 of this 2023-2024 championship season last night. Southampton smashing Preston North End 3-0. They're looking to get amongst the top three now. They're just three points behind Leeds United in fourth position and have a game in hand. So rather than a three horse race, we now have what looks like a four horse race. Top scorer for game week 43 with a, an okay score of 14 points was Malugalu. Malugalu came away with two perfect scores as well with Miru and the man, the myth, the legend closely follow behind in second and third place. But we do move on to game week 44. Coventry and Ipswich don't play this weekend because Coventry are in FA Cup action, but it all kicks off at Ewood Park, where Blackburn Rovers take on Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday currently in 23rd position, a match that really they, you've got to say they have to win really, okay? It's not impossible that they can still survive without winning this match, but they'll look to take all three points here. Blackburn Rovers, since Eustace has come in, have looked really good. A, an absolutely fantastic win against Leeds United last time out. In this one, Blackburn, okay, not mathematically safe, but this is gonna be close. But I do fancy Blackburn to take all three points in a 2-1 victory. We then move on to the Cardiff City Stadium where I will be in attendance. Southampton hunting down the top for the looking really, really good. As I said, a 3-0 thumping of Preston last night. And prior to that, it was a 3-2 victory against Watford and a 2-1 win against Coventry. Cardiff City, a defeat last time out back against Millwall. Looked decent first half and the second half, terrible. <sighs> It's really only going to be one winner here, but Cardiff can be stubborn, but I do expect the Saints to take all three points. A lot of the Cardiff players are on the beach at the moment, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 away victory. Next one, we've got Coventry against Ipswich. As I said, Coventry are in FA Cup semi-final action this weekend, so this isn't going to take place, but it, it did take place. I'd probably go for a draw at the current time. We then move on to John Smith Stadium where Huddersfield take on Swansea City. Huddersfield currently in 22nd. Swansea, they're safe now for another season and they've had a, a couple of good wins against Rotherham and Stoke. Huddersfield only one win in their last six matches, seven matches as well, but they did grind out a 1-1 draw against Bristol City. And you know what? I fancy the Terriers to take all three points here in a 2-1 win and boy do they need those three points next up we move to the king power stadium leicester city currently in second position on 88 points a game in hand on ipswich so they really need to win this one back to back defeats for the uh, for uh, leicester against plymouth surprisingly and millwall west brom it was their first defeat in seven or eight matches against sunderland another tight one but i fancy leicester to nick this one 1-0. We then move on to the Riverside. Probably the biggest game of the weekend, although there's some massive games this weekend. Middlesbrough against Leeds. Leeds now, no wins in their last three matches. Middlesbrough, it's one win in their last three, but they're undefeated and looking decent. 63 points. It's probably out of their reach for reaching the, uh, the playoffs. I think they're looking decent and at home as well. Leeds, Really need the three points as well if they're going to get into the autos. But I think this is going to end up in a draw 1-1. One, one. We then move on to Carrow Road where Norwich take on Bristol City. Norwich probably just need a, a point, I'd say. Maybe three just to cement themselves in the playoff spots. Bristol City ending the season well. Currently in 12th position. Slap man in the middle of the table. A draw last time out against Huddersfield of fighting for them lies. A Norwich, a win against Preston, and prior to that was a draw against Sheffield Wednesday. No, Carra Road, I think they're going to take all three points in a 2-1 a win there in East Anglia. Then we go, move on to Loftus Road, QPR on 47 points. Really need a win, really, I'd say now, to, to uh, remain in the league in their last 
three matches. Preston, two defeats on the trot. Reverses against, Pres uh, against Southampton and Norwich. Oh, who c this could go either way, but I fancy the R's to take all three points in a 3-0 win. Then it's New York Stadium. Rotherham against Birmingham. Rotherham terrible. Birmingham being terrible. Fighting for their lives. For this could end up in a draw, but I think Birmingham will take all three points in a 2-0 away victory. Then we go to Bet365 Stadium. Stoke City themselves, not out of the relegation fixture. Plymouth really needed that victory last time they got out against Leicester. And uh, they're undefeated in the last three matches. A draw will probably favour Plymouth here, and I think they will get it. And I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw, and uh, that will really put the Potters, Stoke City, in the mire with view to the relegation picture. We then move to the stadium like with Sunderland take on Millwall. Millwall, a very good win. Workman-like performance against Cardiff City and Sunderland stunning West Brom with a 1-0 victory last time out. <sighs> Sunderland, okay, after a, a massive run of defeats, turning things around at the end of the season. Do you know what? I think this is going to end up in a 1-1 draw as well. Lots of 1-1 draws this weekend. We then move on to Vicarage Road, where Watford take on Hull City. Hull City need to win this one if they're going to get in the playoffs. Watford defeated last time out. You know what? That performance against QPR, 3-0 was excellent by the Tigers. And I think they're going to take all three points here. This could be their last hoo-ha of the season if they get defeated. But I, I fancy the Tigers to take all three points in a 2-1 victory. We then move on to the Rico Arena. This one takes place on Tuesday. Coventry in FA Cup, final, uh, FA Cup action on the weekend. A rearranged fixture, this one. Early in the season, I had this one down as a 2-1 victory to Coventry. And I'm actually going to change my mind on this one. I think if Coventry are taken two extra time in the FA Cup semi-final, then I do believe that Hull will take all three points in a 2-0 away victory. We then move on to the King Power Stadium. Another rearranged fixture. This one, Leicester action over the weekend and Southampton and you know what I have got a 1-1 draw there massive match at the top of the table I can't see Southampton losing this one I'm tempted to go for a Saints victory but I will go for a 1-1 draw and keep my original prediction so those are my predictions for game week 44 make sure you leave your predictions over at the Super Brew website all the Details are in the description. The season is coming to a, a finale. There's still lots of twists and turns, lots of stories to be written, both at the top of the table and the bottom of the league as well. Enjoy your championship weekend. I'm off to see Cardiff against Southampton on Saturday. Hopefully it'll be a victory for the Bluebirds, but I think Southampton, bearing down on those top three spots, will take all three points, but it's, it's really ramping up to an absolutely fascinating last couple of weeks. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you all in the next video.